Good morning, good morning. Friendship Missionary Baptist Church. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. Presiding this morning is Minister Philip Donifer. Advanced Tablet Scholars will be bringing the word this morning. The music you hear in the background, we do not own the rights to. We thank you, Father, for this pastor that is going to preach this morning, preach the word of life. Yes, sir. Father God, we thank you for it. Father God, we ask you that you bless her in a mighty way. Amen. 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 In your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Scripture reading this morning. Coming from 
there in Sodom. me to hear thy loving kindness in the morning. For in thee I do trust. Cause me to know the way wherein I shall walk. For I lift up my soul unto thee. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies. I flee unto thee to hide me. Teach me to do thy will. For thou art my God, my spirit is good. Lead me into the land of righteousness. Amen. 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 We will now have a song coming from the praise team. Introduction of the speaker. And a selection from your voice. Amen. Amen.
that day. There's no other than evangelist Tabitha Strzok. She is a pastor woman. Hallelujah. She's an ordained minister. Hallelujah. And she's a woman of God. She's an entrepreneur. Hallelujah. And she's an a, a awesome. Praise God. And we love her. And one thing I can say about her, she's from uh, Pine Grove Baptist Church in uh, Hossabilla. Am I right, Pastor? Hossabilla, South Carolina. Everybody know where it is. And one thing, she's going to preach the word. Amen. She will stand on the word. Amen. And she walks out the word. Amen. Hallelujah. She is married to uh, Brother uh, Tony Struthers. Anthony Struthers, sorry, and she had three kids. Amen. But one thing I'm not going to say anymore, most of you know her, but if you don't, you will hear from her today. Amen. And you will know that she is a woman of God. Amen. 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 Her evangelist, Tabitha Struthers. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Amen.
move. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we may be walking with a little limp this morning. Or, or God, we may be using some of the devices this morning. But God, we bless your holy name. Oh, thank you, Lord God, for this special spot that you've allowed us to assemble together to give you praise. Hallelujah. And to worship your name. We thank you for your word. Holy Spirit, we invoke your presence in this place. Yeah. Holy Spirit, do what you need to do in this place. Holy Spirit, say what needs to be said in this place. Oh, we thank you now. It's in the blessed and holy name of Jesus that we wait with great expectation. We expect you to deliver in this place. We expect blessings to flow in this place today. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen, amen. So before you take your seats, go ahead and turn to Genesis, the 32nd chapter. A familiar passage of scripture this morning. I know we remember Jacob, amen. Amen. Y'all remember who Jacob was, don't you? Abraham's descendant. The one that we call the trickster, amen. That same Jacob. Y'all remember Jacob? The one who came in this world on Esau's heel. Grasping. Amen. He was looking for something too. Amen. That same Jacob. And this morning we're going to take just a little different look at Jacob. All right, I'm reading from the Amplified Version. Beginning at the 24th verse. Genesis, the 32nd chapter. So Jacob was left alone, and a man came and wrestled with him until daybreak. When the man saw that he had not prevailed against Jacob, he touched his hip joint, and Jacob's hip was dislocated as he wrestled with him. Then he said, let me go, for day is breaking. But Jacob said, I will not let you go unless you declare a blessing on me. Jacob needed a blessing, amen? amen? So he asked him, what is your name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, your name shall no longer be Jacob, but Israel. For you have struggled with God and with men and have prevailed. Then Jacob asked him, please tell me your name. But he said, why is it that you ask my name? And he declared a blessing of the covenant promises of, on Jacob there. So Jacob named the place Peniel, the face of God, saying, For I have seen God face to face, yet my life has not been snatched away. Amen. You may be seated. Amen. I ask you this morning, so let's take a different look at Jacob for a moment, because he is doing something that we all do from time to time. Mm -hmm. So if I had to title this message today, it would be, The Struggle is Real. Amen? Amen. 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 Brother Wade, is it okay that I move this mic? The struggle is real. Amen? Amen. My brothers and sisters, we all struggle with something. Am I right? Amen. Now, I, I encourage you, just a little bit, you can go ahead and say amen because we in church. That's what black folks do in church. Amen. We say amen. I done preached to some white folks too. Some of them say amen. But we're just going to be real this morning because y'all know Uncle Deacon Nate that told me we got to be out of here by a certain time. So... The struggle is real. We all struggle with something from time to time, right? Whether it's our weight, whether it's the way our hair looks, whether what we've done back in the day, whether it's what we're doing right now, whether it's mental issues, anxiety, depression, no matter what it is, we all struggle with something. If you're not struggling right now, you've been struggling with something. You don't have to say amen, but God knows. Amen? You know, it used to be something that they said back in the day, I don't know, early 90s, Something like that, sex, lies, and videotapes. Y'all remember that? Uh-huh. Some of y'all shaking y'all head. I know you remember. But now it's sex, lies, drugs, homosexuality, adultery, the videotapes, but now it's on the internet. And I'm not talking about in the street. I'm talking about in the church house. Amen? Amen. Amen. 
somebody. But the last time I checked, Galatians 5 lets us know that that's still wrong. Because the Bible says that that is what? The sins of the flesh. Amen? Amen. That's lust of the flesh. So we are still struggling. It's not just in my house. It's not just in your house. It's not just in their house. It's somewhere in everybody's house. You are not alone. It's not just in friendship. It's not just in Pine Grove, Antioch, down the street. It's in everywhere. The struggle is real. Our black community, this black, this black history month, right? Let's be real. The suicide rate is at an all-time high. The, where are our men in our households? The struggle is real. Parents are no longer being parents because they want to be their child's friend. But that's not what the Bible says. Yeah. Proverbs 13 and 24 tells us whoever spares the rod hates their child, but the one who loves their children is careful to discipline them. Amen? If we love our children, we have to bring them up in the admonition of the Lord. Amen? It's not right to be their friend later on in life, but right now, my job is to train you up in the way that the Lord says to And why are we doing that? Because it's what look good to the eye of man. But that's not what God says. The struggle is real. Yeah, yeah. We got our young people so busy worried about strapping up with these guns, but they don't want to strap up a mask on their face to save their lives. I'm just talking about what I'm talking about this morning. But we know that the struggle is real. And then we have our politicians and elected officials who care more about what the corporations say and how they can put money in their pockets instead of how they can take care of the people who elected them to do a job. The struggle is real. And then, on top of that, no matter what it is that I'm struggling with, no matter what it is that you're struggling with, when it comes face to face, when it hits my house, when we do like Michael Jackson said and put the mirror up to our face and look at the man in the mirror, I want to deflect. I want to throw my problems off on you. My brothers and sisters, perhaps that might have been what happened to our brother Jacob. Let's look at our scripture today. Let's look at our scripture. You see, Jacob, he's the one who, who knows all too well about the struggle. As I said earlier, when he came into the world, he was grasping his brother Esau's heel, and, and God had already let his mother know that it was going to be a war. Amen? Amen? So can you imagine perhaps what his life was like growing up over the years? Maybe she had already shared this with him. I don't know. We don't know what causes people to do what they do. We don't know what causes serial killers to become serial killers. We don't know what causes people to just walk up and tell a lie for no good reason. But they do, don't they? Oh, I'm the only one that didn't encounter somebody telling a lie. I, I don't know. Okay, amen. I got an amen in that corner. Somebody knows. We don't know what caused the jealousy in his mother to orchestrate the deception of Isaac. Amen? Y'all know how his mother, y'all know his mother was the one who orchestrated, she was the mastermind behind Isaac blessing Jacob instead of Esau. Amen. And because of this, hallelujah, because of this, Jacob had to run. Amen. So what was it? What was she struggling with? That the causes that caused her struggle to be deflected on her son. Amen. What are we struggling with? That's the cause that's causing us to deflect on somebody else. Amen. You may not be shocked right now, but just hold on for a minute. <laughs> this led Jacob to flee. Mm -hmm. Where did he go? To his uncle Laban. Mm -hmm. What happened there? A whole nother life of struggle. Uh -huh. See, sometimes we gotta deal with the stuff. Amen. That we're dealing with. Because when we start running, we think we're running to something better. Amen? Amen? But Lord knows when we get there. Because when we didn't deal with this stuff right here, ha, we came over here. Hallelujah. We got a whole other bag of struggle over there. Amen. But there is hope. Tell God, thank you for hope. Hallelujah. God don't leave us out there by ourselves. When we in our own mess that we created, when we do stuff that we had no business doing, when we don't deal with our mess, God still give us hope. Amen. So God, I thank you for hope today. So the first thing that I want to 
to leave you, but I see y'all quiet over there, so y'all want to shout a little bit. Let me go ahead and help you shout a little bit. The first thing I want to tell you in this message that we see today, that silence is golden. Hallelujah. You see, the Bible tells us right here at the beginning, so Jacob was left alone. Hallelujah. See what he did. I'm going to go back just for a minute, just, just a minute. Deacon Uncle Nate, y'all like that name, y'all like that name. I'm going to go back just for a minute here. I see you over there, Uncle Joe. God bless you. Good to see you. Silence is golden. You see, for 20 years, he was struggling with Laban. He had to work 14 years for them wives he had. I tell you what, I don't know if my husband could deal with two. Uh, she said, Anthony, it's Antonio. I don't want to get home. And he said, hold up, who, who was that? Who was Anthony? I thought you was married to Antonio. Uh, 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 I can't deal but with one husband. He had two wives and some servants and all that. So listen, see, he couldn't marry the first woman that he really loved. So then he had to work another seven years for the wife that he really wanted. That was 14 years. Then his uncle had to make him work six more years for his property. Don't you know that 20 years of struggle? That was what was supposed to be rightfully his. We complain about five days on a job. Yeah, now, now that was just what he was just coming out of. That, that was just 20 years of what he was coming out of. We ain't talking about the tricks and the, and the mischief that he played on his brother Esau. We ain't even talked about that. Uh-huh. So he had left that behind and went to the new struggle of labor. God have mercy on him. But when he spoke with God, that's what I love about God. God would never leave us nor forsake us. Hallelujah. God is always with us right by our side. Even in our mess, God is there. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for the reminder. Hallelujah. Even in our darkest situation. But what Jacob did, Jacob left. They went and had their little talk. They went and had their little meeting. They built their little office. Altar, and uh, you stay on your side and I stay on mine. I'm paraphrasing. Go back and read chapters 30 and 31. The birthday of the date. And you stay on yours and I'm taking my wives and children and all my servants and I'm leaving. Yeah. Amen. Amen. But back up a little bit. And see, he had prayed. Mm -hmm. right. What he prayed for was because he sent his servants to speak to his brother. The only answer he came back with was your brother coming, but he got 400 million with him. Jacob right. got scared. Right. See, we done did some stuff in our life, and I'm talking about that struggle real quick, that you're scared about, because we all got to give an account for what we've done. Jacob was about to come face to face with his past. Hallelujah. We got to come face to face with our past. We done did some stuff that was wrong. Hallelujah. You can believe it or not, you can be like Christmas. Believe it or not, you got to give an account for what you done did. Whether you think it was big or little, you got to give an account. Amen. Jacob was about to give an account. He didn't know which way it was going to go. All right, this is what we're going to do. We're going to divide this thing up. We got two camps here. We got another. We're going to divide this thing up. If you attack one, we still got nothing over here. Oh, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and send him some presents in advance. So he divided his, 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 his flock up, and I'm going to send him this, and I'm going to send him that, and all of this stuff, because he was worried. <laughs> but he prayed. Now, God, you told me to come back here. God, this is what you said. God, I'm standing on your word. Have mercy on me, God. This is the prayer that he began to pray. But right here, see, after they had left and he sent them on and everything, he sent his family on across the brook. That's what he did. And he had time to be by himself. Silence is golden. There are some things that you've been wrestling with that nobody know about. It's the things you've been praying to God for nobody know about. It's some stuff that you got to deal with that nobody know about, but you and God. So that blessing that they serve about a few minutes ago that you've been waiting on, it's time for you to stand black foot in front of that mirror, you in that man, and talk to God. Amen. Some of that stuff 
ain't saying folks put their hands on you, you gonna do that. That's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is, how are you willing to hold on to God? Amen. 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 Well, Amen. The morning was coming. We say weeping. May endure all night. But joy comes in the morning. Oh, I got some Bible readers in the house. Hallelujah. Joy comes. Joy comes. In the morning. But the morning was coming. Yeah. He said, What is your name? He told him, Jacob. He said, Not no more. <laughs> For you wrestled with God. Mm -hmm. oh, no. The third point, and I'm getting ready to go. Y'all can close your Bibles and close your phones and get ready to stand up because we're getting ready to shout for a minute. And we're getting ready to go. Let survival be your mantra. Amen. What is God going to change your name to? Amen. His name was changed to Israel. Amen. What is your name going to be? Is it going to be victory? Is it going to be peace? Is God going to give you beauty for your ashes? Is he going to give you joy for your morning? What is God going to change in your name to? You see, Jacob held on because Jacob wanted a blessing. Hallelujah. Are you going to hold on or are you going to give in? See, I'm holding on. Hallelujah. And let me tell you quickly about my struggle for the past two weeks. This left eye, I never had a style in my eye, so you know, I didn't know what it was. I just thought I had a little blurry vision. But it kept swelling up and kept getting bigger. So you know, sometimes you just say, it'll go away. And then sometimes you have to have some common sense. Hallelujah. Common sense ain't so common sometimes. But I called my mama and then, you know, she wanted to give me all them old remedies until she said, put that rusty nail on your eye. No, nope. let me call the doctor. Hallelujah. Yeah, because I couldn't hardly see. And as I begin to pray, oh, uh -huh, what I should have did from day one, as I begin to pray, I said, now, God, I started taking my eyesight for granted. See, we take things for granted. We take people for granted. We take life for granted. I took my eyesight for granted. Hallelujah. I still can't see that good out of this eye. But what I begin to do is praise God. I say, now, God, what I'm not going to do is give in to this temptation. What I'm not going to do is cry and mourn. What I'm not going to do is say, this is going to win. So, yes, I went to the doctor. Yes, I know what he says. But I'm not going to give up. I'm holding on to what the promises of God. I'm holding on to what God has said. I am completely healed in the name of Jesus. See, those are the blessings that God has given me. Those are the promises that God has given me. And not only that, I reach way back to the blessings and promises that God gave Big Mama. She didn't see all of them before she left here at the age of 96. But what my great grandmama didn't see, I want them. And I'm calling them down from heaven. But we've been fasting and praying. My prayer partners and my sisters in Christ, we've been fasting and praying. And I'm holding on. I'm wrestling with my angel. I don't know about you, but I'm not going to give up. I don't know about you, but two words God gave me this year. One was retreat. Y'all know what retreat means. It means to bag up. It means to steal away. It means to stay still for a period of time. Hallelujah. And the next one was to advance. When you advance, you go forward. When you advance, you move. You move to the place that God tells you to. Everybody don't have to know your business all the time. Everybody don't have to know what you are doing. Everybody don't have to know your business. But what I'm going to tell you today is you got to do what God says do. And hold on. I don't know what you fight for. I don't know why you fight. That ain't my business. But what I want to encourage you to do today. You better hold on yeah. until God bless you. Yeah. Our children need you to hold on. Yeah. Your prayer partner needs you to hold on. Yeah. Your family needs you to hold on. Yeah. Somebody's depending on you to hold on yeah. to God until he bless you. Yeah. I, you know, the Bible says 
that he will bless you in front of your enemies. Yes, he will. He will make your enemies your fist. Yeah. He says, my cup runneth over. Yeah. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I don't have to be the cup no more. I didn't realize I could be the saucer above the cup. Somebody gonna be your saucer. Somebody might be the tablecloth when the cup runs over. Somebody might be that table underneath there. Who's depending on you to hold on? See, Jacob had two wives, 11 children, some servants over there across that brook that he had set across that was waiting on him to hold on. To get that blessing. Who's waiting on you Amen. to hold on? What's your name going to be when you hold on and get your blessing? What is your new name going to be? Jacob named that place Tiniel. But he said, I have seen the face of God. And he spared my life. Yes, sir. Yeah, some of us say it's a cliche I wrestle with the devil. And I'm still here. I got the scars and, and all of that. How many of you can say I wrestle with God? Amen. And I'm still here to tell you. Yeah. Jacob was able to say yeah. And I'm going to give you a cliffhanger to the story. We worry about stuff. We worry about what's going to happen. But when he saw his brother, his brother wasn't worried about the past. All he saw did was run up to him, hug his neck, and kiss him. We struggle with stuff we ain't got no business. If God is your God, drop it off and let God handle it. If God is for you, he is more than the whole world against you. What are you struggling with it for? Give it to God and see what your name will be. I'm waiting for testimonies to come out of this. Not for me, but for you. Because I know what God has promised me. And I promise you, I ain't letting go until he bless me. Everything. Now, I love my children. And you can stand up because we're ready to do the altar call. I love my children and my grands. But they got to get their own blessings. Hallelujah. Now, I'm leaving an inheritance for them because I'm doing what the Bible say do. But baby. The struggle is real. My son, that's my oldest son over there. The oldest one that I birthed, because I got two more. But listen, the struggle is real. He got to get his own. Because I'm holding on to my blessing. I'm holding on. And I ain't let go Amen. until God bless me. What about you today? Stand on your feet all over. If you know, hallelujah, that you are struggling today, if you know that you've been struggling today and you desire for God to bless you, I don't care what area that it is, glory to God, because we all stand in need of a blessing. Today is the day. The man is here. Hallelujah. I invite you to step out. Step out on faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Step out on faith today. Step out on faith and ask God for what it is that you want in this house today. Letting God know that you are not going to release him until he blesses you. Hallelujah. Today is the day. Receive your blessing. If you have become in a backslidden state and you want to rededicate your life to Christ, today is the day. If you desire prayer today, today is the day for whatever reason. If you just need more strength on your journey today, today is the day. If you want to give your life to Christ today, because we dare not assume that just because we're in the house of the Lord that everybody is saved. Today is the day. We invite you to step out today.
heart and each and every soul that has stepped forward today. Holy Spirit, you know, hallelujah, what they have stepped out for. Oh God, we thank you now. Father God, we thank you for the ones that step forward, Lord God, and they desire a closer walk with me. God, we thank you for the ones that are in a backslidden state. Hallelujah. We declare and decree repentance, Father God, in the name of Jesus. So for those that are in a backslidden state, I pray, God, I ask you to just pray this now. God, forgive me, for I have sinned against thee. And I want a closer walk with thee. Hallelujah. Father God, for those that are not in the fold, hallelujah, we pray this prayer. And I ask you to repeat this prayer. Father God, I am a sinner that's in need of a Savior. I desire, hallelujah, a relationship with thee. Forgive me of my sins and wash me with the blood of Christ. I confess now in my, with my mouth and believe in my heart that Jesus was raised from the dead. He is the Son of God. Hallelujah. Thou art saved. Father God, for those that have stepped out, Lord God, and we are holding on, hallelujah, to you. Hallelujah. Father God, we thank you now because you, Lord God, are the one that can do all things but fail. Father God, we thank you now, God, that we would no longer rest, oh God, in our mental state, Lord God. We would no longer rest, oh, in our flesh, God. But we are surrendering right now, God. We are casting all of these things on the altar. Hallelujah. God, we are casting all of doubt in the altar, God. We are casting lies and deceit and all the things of the flesh, we're casting them at the altar, God, in the name of Jesus. And we will leave them here in the name of Jesus, God. But we're holding on to you, hallelujah. And we won't let go, God, until you bless us, hallelujah. Every promise that you have for each individual at this altar, for each family, God, we thank you for complete healing, for complete restoration, God, in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you for deliverance, God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the ones that are holding on for financial deliverance, God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, because you are man. You are not like man that you should lie, nor the son of man that you should repent. God, you have to do what you said that you would do. Oh, we bless your name, God. We thank you for our new names. We thank you, God. Some people are mourning today. They're not just mourning because somebody died. They're mourning for various reasons. And we thank you for the all of joy today that you will pour on them. Thank you, God. Thank you for beauty, for ashes. Some have been laboring in the vineyard for a long time, God. Thank you for the promises today, God. Bless your name. We thank you for the deliverance in this house today. We thank you for the appointed man or woman of God that you have placed for the under shepherd of this house. We pray for them now, God. We undergird them now, God. Hallelujah. Give them strength. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anoint their tongue. Anoint their eyes, God. Give them vision. Hallelujah. But for the leadership that is here now, God. A special anointing. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, God. Thank you. 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 Thank
tomorrow for encouragement. And I'll speak here for an hour to come and give us a veneration. May God bless you. Amen. Amen. Once again, the struggle is real. If we keep our eyes on Jesus, if we be obedient to God, if we turn away from our sins, the struggle won't be so bad. God will bless you more and more. Learn how to stay on your knees. We want to thank Evangelist Strutter again for that message. Now you were here. All right. Amen. God bless you all. Thank you so much for allowing me to um, grace this holy spot one more time. Thank you all for your attentiveness. Amen. And your prayers. Continue to pray with me. Amen. That, uh, because I'm holding on, because I don't want to lose his eyesight. Amen. Amen. I'm not too proud to ask for prayer. I'm Amen. holding on. Amen. Amen. Let us stand. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Hallelujah. May the Lord make his face shine upon you. Hallelujah. And be gracious to you. Hallelujah. May the Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Not that, not just this day, but from this day forward. Amen. 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 Go in peace.